Welcome back to another week, a new story. This one is called A New Girl, and it's by Sophia, story about Sophia. She's 11 years old from the Ukraine. Let's find out about what happened in the story. This is for January 16. Sophia liked to smile and laugh and talk with her friends at the public school in Vorzul, Ukraine. But then she had a big fight with her best friend, Vernika. Nobody needs you, Vernika. You will never have any friends, Vernika shoved Sophia. And Sophia fell against a school wall, hitting her head hard. And when she got up, her head still hurt terribly. But she didn't cry. Instead, she went to the teacher and asked for permission to go home early. Teacher allowed her to go. The headache eventually went away, but Sophia's heart ached for a long time. Because of Vanika's unkind words, Sophia stopped smiling and laughing. She became very quiet. She wondered whether Vanika had told the truth when she said that she would never have any friends. Mother saw Sophia's sad face. That summer, Mother heard that a Seventh-day Adventist school had opened in the nearby town of Buka. Sophia, you have a choice, she said. You can go to the Adventist school or you can go back to the public school. Sophia didn't need to be asked twice. There was no way that she wanted to return to the public school. Sophia was very shy when she started fifth grade at the Adventist school. She didn't talk to anyone. She was scared that the children might be unkind, like Vanika. On the first day of school, a girl greeted Sophia. Hi, the girl said. Hi, Sophia replied. What's your name? said the girl. I have to go to my desk now, Sophia said. She didn't say anything to anybody for the rest of the day. When it was time to go home, the boy seated next to her desk spoke to her. Bye, the boy said. Bye, Sophia said. And that was all. Sophia spoke to hardly anyone for the first two weeks of school. No one spoke to her either. She felt lonely and sad. She didn't have any friends. She cried quietly on her bed at home. Nobody needs me, she thought. Nobody even wants to talk to me. A few days later, teacher approached Sophia after school. What is your name? teacher said. Sophia knew that teacher already knew her name. She wasn't sure why teacher was asking her, but she was happy that someone was talking to her. My name is Sophia, she said. How old are you? teacher said. Ten. Why don't you talk to anyone? teacher said. Sophia told her the story about the mean girl in her old school. Teacher listened carefully. When Sophia finished, teacher asked, Would you like me to tell you about someone who forgave people who hurt him? Sophia wanted to hear the story, and teacher told her about Jesus. Sophia had never heard about Jesus, and she wondered how he could have forgiven the people who hurt him. She wanted to know more and she began to read the Bible at home. At school, she began to talk to her classmates. She became a new person, happy and friendly. She even preached a sermon at church. Her friends say she is a new girl. Jesus loves everyone, Sophia said. Jesus changed my life. This quarter's 13th Sabbath offering will help Sophia's school construct its own building in Buka, Ukraine. Currently, the school borrows classrooms from an Adventist college. Thank you for planning a generous offering. We'll see you next week in another story. Bye-bye.